Hello, Tom. Our first question today is from Ursula. And I know you've answered this question several times, but I thought it would be nice for you to reiterate it because we have so many new subscribers and such a new audience. And the question is, how do your physics experiments validate that we have a purpose here? Well, I just have to think about that a little bit. What the experiments do, you know, if we could get these experiments done the way that I wrote them down, which has been impossible so far, if we can actually get them done in a lab, what they would do is they would lend evidence to the fact that one, this is a virtual reality, and two, they'd lend evidence to the fact that consciousness is the computer. So those two things then would have some evidence because of the results of these experiments. Now, evidence that we have a purpose, you see, is just another step past that. We get our purpose from the fact that consciousness is an information system Consciousness as an information system is evolving. You know, consciousness isn't a machine, it's a, it's a being. You can say it's something that's conscious, it's aware. So the larger consciousness system is also conscious and it is in the process of evolving that it evolves toward lower entropy and that lower entropy in a social system and the social system is created by all of the individuated units of consciousness and the larger conscious system. And that low entropy in a social system is about love and caring and cooperation and consideration and compassion. It's all those things. So see, that's a, that's, that's a bunch of steps in the logic. So it's not that the experiments will directly give evidence to a purpose, but once they give evidence to consciousness being the computer, then the chain of logic is that consciousness is an information system, and information systems evolve toward lower entropy states, and in a social system, the lower entropy state is love, and fear is the high entropy state. So that's the, that's the logical trail that gets you to the purpose. So the larger conscious system, of which we are a part, is evolving toward love, toward interacting with love and with caring and consideration and cooperation and all of that. So here we are, bits of consciousness, and what we do is we interact with each other. That's what consciousness does. It communicates, it interacts, it connects, it makes choices. It's awareness with a choice. And those choices either put you toward, you know, move you toward love or move you toward fear. And that then gives us our our meaning, our cause, you know, why we're here, what's, a, what's, the, what's our purpose, then is, deri is derived from that. So that's the change. So no, it doesn't do that directly. It doesn't affect our purpose in a, in a, you know, a direct way. But indirectly, if you look at the, the logic then that, that follows the larger conscious system being the source of the virtual reality, then it's pretty easy to establish what we're here for comes out pretty easily. So that's the logic chain to get from what the experiments do to, you know, to our, uh, yes. yeah, our cause here. You had a little statement, a short statement out, and I think here the key is virtual reality. So your experiments will then show that this is a virtual reality, and then the next logical step is that there's a purpose, well, they won't show it. They will provide evidence. Experiments right. provide evidence. They don't uh, prove yeah. or show. They provide evidence for, but pretty strong evidence for. Yeah. And, and yes, then we have the, the next step in that process is that consciousness is an information system because right. consciousness is the computer because this is a virtual reality. And the virtual reality can only be generated by, you know, a uh, information system. Yes. And 
consciousness being an information system is kind of an easy you know, step. That's not a very hard step to make. So that's the chain of events. You do state often that we live in a virtual reality. There are many statements there. So we're adding another step by saying mm -hmm. that your experiments and then showing evidence for virtual reality and then showing purpose is the chain yeah. that we need. Yeah, it's right. a logical chain. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, understanding that this is a virtual reality, then how is it computed? Why is it computed? What's computing it? You know, and all of that yes. then points to consciousness because consciousness is involved in our reality. It's called the observer effect. You know, so consciousness is there, and all the founding fathers said consciousness was at the you know, founding fathers of quantum physics, I should say. Yes. You know, we're, we're clear that consciousness was at the root. Absolutely. So it's not a real big jump. But first you start with the virtuality, then you wonder how is this virtuality created? And taking a note from the founding fathers of quantum physics, consciousness fits in there perfectly because it solves the problem with the observer effect. Then uh, all the rest of it is just another three or four logic steps to get you to why we're here, what the point is, what is our purpose. Well, thank you for elaborating on that and adding in some of the logical steps. Thanks. Would you like to see a better world? Get a better perspective. Balance your intellect with intuition and explore your true nature with the Exploring Consciousness and Everything Paranormal program with Thomas Campbell. In this program, you will have the benefit of Tom's vast experience and learn to access point consciousness, communicate with the larger consciousness system, remote view, use your natural ability to heal with intent, and explore reality in the out-of-body state. His famous binaural beats are included. Details are in the description below. Thank you.